What's up guys and welcome back to Must Devil Low Jailbreak Tweak where I show you the best tweaks for your device. In today's video I'm gonna show you an amazing tweak that you must download. This tweak brings a new experience to icons and lets you create stacks of icons on your home screen. Simply swipe up or down on any app icon to reveal its sub apps. Here you can select any apps you want to add behind it and those apps will now be unobtrusively picking out from behind your central app. All you have have to do to edit an existing stack is to press and hold on the central icon when that stack is expanded and you can edit any existing sub apps or add new ones. This tweak helps save home screen space and rid you of excess folder clutter by taking away those related apps you want discrete but instant access to. This tweak comes with a large number of customization options. Several years ago this tweak was one of the most popular jailbreak tweaks. With it, you can create a stack by entering jiggle mode on the home screen via a tab and hold gesture on any app icon. And once you are, you can swipe up on whatever app icon you want to add a stack to it in order to reveal plus buttons above, below, to the left, and to the right of the app icon. You can tap these plus buttons to add any app on your device. After you've made stacks on your home screen, you can leave jiggle mode and access any stack by swiping up on the apps that have stacks okay now i'm gonna show you how to download and install that week first go ahead and open zebra store or sell your store or whatever you are using i will open zebra store go to the sources here and make sure to add havoc repo after adding the repo go to the search here and search for zenith tweak and as you can see this is the tweak Zenith Tweak, as I said, will let you create stacks of icons on your home screen. Zenith brings you a fun new way to organize access your related apps. Simply swipe up or down on any app icon to reveal its sub apps. It's an amazing way to hide your apps behind other apps. Zenith Tweak is a complete rewrite of the popular Tweak Apex designed entirely for iOS 11 and above. It's intuitive and easy to use. Okay, now just go ahead and install it. Hit modify, hit install, press here, now hit confirm. I already installed it, so I will not install it again. After installing the tweak, go to the home screen and open the settings to enable the tweak. Scroll down and open the tweak preferences. This is the tweak, alright? The first thing you are gonna do here is of course enable the tweak from here. Okay, this is the tweak. It has some options to customize. I'm gonna quickly explain all the options in the tweak. So the first one we have here is user guide. If this is your first time using this tweak, just check out this guide to understand how the tweak works. Okay, let's go to the tweak options. Here you can customize the tweak. The first option we have here is the visual indicator. You can change it from grabbers to uh, previews or none. Here you can change how you access to the spotlight. You can access the spotlight by swiping down, tapping on the state explorer, or you can disable it. And here you can choose how the sub app access. You can access apps by swipe down or swipe up or you you can choose either. I prefer swipe down option. Here below we have more options. Here you can enable close on app launch. This means that when you access the sub app and open one of these apps, it will close the sub app window. Here you can enable allow creation of new stacks, tap anywhere to collapse icon, collapse on home screen press, hide labels in dock, and finally disable the tweak in dock. If you enable disable in dock option, it will not allow you to create a new stacks on dock icons. So guys, this is the tweak. It's a really amazing tweak. If you add apps to any icon, you will see other app icons behind the icon as you can see. So it's easier for you to know which apps have a sub app. There is one thing you should know about this tweak is that it's broken on iOS 15 and iOS 16. So, as you will see now, I will try to open an app. As you see, it crashes the springboard and goes into safe mode. So, this tweak isn't fully compatible with iOS 15 and iOS 16. It works on iOS 15 and iOS 16, but it will sometimes crash your device and cause safe mode. So, it's better to use it on iOS 14 and below. So, guys, this is our video for today. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like 
like the video and subscribe to my channel for more jailbreak tweaks videos and peace